In this presentation we're going to look at how to construct sequences. Now sequences are very important in programming languages and in this demonstration I'm going to demonstrate how to construct sequences and several variations of sequences that may come in useful. The simplest approach is to use the colon operator so this is the colon operator here and specifying the lower bound, the starting point and the upper bound, the, the last value. Okay, so we can do this for different ranges of numbers, let's say 5 to 11. Or we can, do we can even do this for negative numbers, so minus 4 to, let's say, 3. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Great. Now, it's a more, use uh, a more versatile function, we can do a lot more with this, is the function sequence. I'm going to demonstrate that now shortly. First off, we're going to start off with a very simple example. Sequence from 1 to 10, actually, there we have it. Uh, sequence from 1 to 10, uh, what I do here is I specify the lower bound and the upper bound. Okay. Now, we have increments here of 1. 1 to 2, difference of 1. 2 to 3, difference of 1. Suppose I want a increment of 0 0.5. So what I will do is specify an increment of 0 0.5 by using this by argument, and it's an additional argument we put in. So here we have the first value is 1, the next value is 1.5, an increment of 0 0.5. Now, another thing we can do with sequence is specify the number of elements we want. So I want, let's say, a five element sequence, five values. So what we would do there is specify the number of uh, elements we want using this length argument. So we have five values here that go from 1 to 10. I'm going to show you now how to do a countdown. So, start off with a very simple example, 10 to 1. This is a countdown now, so 10, 9, 8. So what we're doing is reversing this, this, this uh, operation here. Our first value is the upper bound, and our second value is the lower bound, so it's a countdown. Now, I'm going to demonstrate, uh, first off, how we would specify the length. I let um, a five-element uh, sequence. Length equals five. So this sequence here is just this sequence here in reverse order. Now I'm going to show you something quite interesting. So we're going to do by equals not point eight this time. Let's say. Now this is we're going to get a little error here. Okay, error in sequence default. And I'm just going to scroll across there. Wrong sign in by argument. We're actually, this is actually sort of specifying an increase, which doesn't make sense. We're actually decreasing from 10 downwards. So what we have to do is put a minus sign here. And there we have there, uh, 10, 9.2, 8.4. I'm just lastly going to draw your attention to one fact. In this particular case, we don't have 1 as our last value. We actually have our last value as 1.2. There are no more allowable values in the sequence. The next value would be 0.4, and that is actually less than 1 and not an allowable sequence. So it will not actually terminate on 1 necessarily. 